Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol. I'm so happy to introduce a new course, Puppet Fundamentals. In this video, I want to introduce Puppet Fundamental course. The goal of this course, if you complete this course, you will understand Puppet as an IT automation tool and learn how to install Puppet components. And number three, you will learn how to set up Puppet master and agent and learn how to manage Puppet resources. Also, you will learn how to automate applications using Puppet. For this Puppet fundamental course, I will prepare for 10 chapters. Chapter 1 will focus on Puppet Introduction. Chapter 2 will be Puppet Master Configuration. Chapter 3, Puppet Agent Configuration. After you are successful to configure Puppet Master, you need to configure Puppet Agent as well for the connection between Master and Agent. Chapter 4, will be focused on the resources such as packages, files, and services. Even if there are many resources, Puppet can control, especially these three things, package, file, and services, so important resources for Puppet management. And after that, Chapter 5 will focus on the managing Puppet with Git. If you complete this chapter, maybe you will know how to control and manage version based on Puppet. Chapter 6, Managing Puppet Users. Puppet user also is a kind of Puppet resources. And Chapter 7, Managing Puppet Template to manage Puppet more easily. And Chapter 8, Define the resources and the class. Chapter 9 the will be the Puppet Forge. It's a, a kind of database to use Puppet resources. And the Chapter 10 will be reporting and troubleshooting to manage Puppet. Even if I try to prepare for 10 chapters for this course, but each chapter in previous pages can be changeable depending on the situations. Who is this course for? If you are the beginners in IT, especially to manage the puppet, and uh, even if you are administrators to want getting started with puppet, even if you are administrators to want to quickly learn how to get puppet administration, even if you are managing some of the organizations and this organization already using the Puppet, and even if you are system administrators looking to implement Puppet as a new automation tool, this course will provide enough the knowledge to this kind of people. Puppet fundamentals lab setup for this course, I will use this kind of lab, especially CentOS, this one will be Puppet Master with this kind of information, server, that chart as a host name and IP address. If I am successful to configure and start the Puppet Master, then I will prepare for Puppet Agent as well. So this one, We'll use CentOS 7 as operating system. Also, I will use another Puppet agent, and this agent will use Ubuntu 14. Notice, total number of videos for this course will be around 11 videos. And the total learning time will be around 7 and 8 hours. For this course, I will use the CentOS 7 and Ubuntu 14 as an operating system. All scripts and files for this course are provided by knowledgepia.com. So if you want to watch and download some scripts and files, 
you have to visit this website. This is a kind of the paid course worth of over $2,000 on prime training. So you will get huge and tremendous knowledge about puppet fundamentals compared to this kind of very expensive offline training course. Please leave your comment or opinions regarding this course if you have after I complete this video. Thanks for watching this video and God bless you.